Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16.2. Now this is actually a great update. It has brought a lot of new features and changes to iOS and we're doing a follow-up video on this and we have even more new features that Apple has added to iOS 16 with iOS 16.2 and we're going to talk a bit about also iOS 16.3. We have some more features there and of course what to expect in the next few days from Apple. First of all, we're talking about live activities. Now, live activities have been added to iOS with iOS 16.1, and it's only getting better. With every new update, Apple is pushing something new and improving live activities. Hopefully, they will continue to do so. And with iOS 16.2, you will be able, for the NBA app in this case, to actually start a live activity from the Spotlight Search. So if there is a game that is going on at the moment, you can search for it on the Spotlight Search and tap on follow here so you will follow it. And just by tapping there, it will show it on the live activity. And of course, you can get the latest updates and the play by play during this game. As you probably know, with iOS 16.2, I've mentioned this on a previous video. Now, you will have these larger previews here of movies and TV shows on the home screen on the Watch Now section. But now they will also show you here like previews of the show or of the movie, whatever that is. So you can see right there, it starts automatically and it shows you a preview, something like the YouTube videos do of, of course, what's on that show or that movie. Now, if this doesn't work on your device, you need to make sure that you head on to your settings, go under accessibility and go to motion. And right here, make sure that you have autoplay video previews enabled because if you don't have this, then it won't work. With iOS 16.2, Apple has added also a lot of new actions to the Shortcuts app. And this one right here is pretty useful. You can now add PDFs to your books. All you have to do is just go ahead and copy the PDF to your clipboard and then just go ahead and run the shortcut. Now to create this, you tap the plus button and just make sure to tap on add action and search for PDF. Once you have done that, you will see right at the top here, add PDF to books. From here, tap on file and you tap on clipboard. And then of course it will just copy the clipboard file, the PDF that you have copied. It will just move it right to your books app. And that's super, super useful. Now we have some new stuff here on the Freeform app. So when you go to the Freeform app, which is a new app that Apple has added to iOS with iOS 16.2, when you go to your all boards, so you will have here the home screen, you go to your all boards, you can now actually just sort them any way you like. What you need to do is tap right there on the three dots and you can sort them by date or by name. So of course, you can see by date, if you go, you can just go from the newest to the oldest or vice versa, simply by tapping on it again, it will just move them from the oldest to the newest. And also, if you want to select your boards, all you have to do is just swipe with two fingers like this, just like you would do on messages or something else. You can now do that on the Freeform app as well. And with iOS 16.2, Apple has added also new widgets for the Game Center. So you will have their new activity widgets for the Game Center. And if you tap on it right here, it will show you this kind of like a card. It doesn't open an app, but it will show you just this card right here with all the activity. And of course, your games that you have recently played, you can go ahead and continue from here. You will also have all their activity right here. And if you tap on the profile of one of your friends that you have on the Game Center, it will show you the exactly same basically their activity just like this on a card form and as you probably know on the newest devices apple has added this new car crash detection feature which actually works really good but it's used to actually send fake calls like people maybe on a roller coaster something like that would have that just go on of course by not actually being on a car crash but now with iOS 16.2 apple has actually improved it a lot and now it should actually be way more accurate another change on the shortcuts app a lot of the glyphs that had been removed with iOS 16.1 have been brought back to iOS 16.2. So when you just create a new shortcut and you go to choose an icon here, you would have all these glyphs right here. A lot of them had actually been removed with iOS 16.1, but now they're back on iOS 16.2. Moving on to iOS 16.3, we have here a couple of features that we didn't mention on previous videos. And this one right here is actually quite big. iMessage 
key verification. This is a really, really big feature that Apple is bringing to iOS with iOS 16.3, basically bringing, as always, more security and more privacy to your phone. This should make it with iOS 16.3. We will see it once it rolls out to the public. It should be actually quite an important feature. And a smaller change for the lock screen on iOS 16.3. You see right there the text that shows you how much the battery of your iPhone is charged. Now with iOS 16.3, that is slightly thicker. So these are the new features and changes that we have been able to discover on iOS 16.2 and of course the latest iOS 16.3 beta 1. But what's next? So we're of course almost at the end of the year now. We're like five or six, five days away from today. And I don't actually expect Apple to release any new update this year. But of course, at the beginning of the next year, we should see Apple moving on and releasing new updates. As far as iOS 16.3 Beta 2 goes, I would expect Apple to actually release it on the second week of January right here. It will most likely be January 10th, maybe even the 9th, 9th or 10th. These are the two dates that I would expect Apple to actually release the second beta of iOS 16.3, which based on the build number of the first beta, I don't expect it to go through a lot of beta stages, probably four, maybe five five before it gets released to the public. In the meantime, while we're on iOS 16.2 and waiting for the public release of iOS 16.3, I would expect Apple to actually release iOS 16.2.1. Even though these smaller updates just come out just like that, we don't actually have any date that we can talk about when can we expect it to be released or not. But of course, again, I don't expect even the smaller updates to be released this year. And as I said, we're on the like holiday season and there's like no chance Apple is releasing new updates this week. That might happen again from the second week of January and moving on, we should see actually a new update. iOS 16.2.1 should come out to the public before iOS 16.3 just goes through all the beta stages and gets released to the public. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are some more new features of iOS 16.2, which is turning out to be a really, really great update as every day we're just discovering new features that Apple has added. And with these, we're up at probably like 15 new features and changes that iOS 16.2 has brought to our devices. And of course, some new features from the new iOS 16.3 beta, which is currently on beta one and with the next betas, hopefully we will get some more great new features, but we will have to wait until next year for that. Of course, it's not that far away, like two weeks or so, we will most likely get the new update for iOS 16.3. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to smash that like button. It really helps out a lot. And of course, if you want to see more videos, you want to stay updated with the latest iOS 16 news, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That also helps out a lot. I'll see you on the next one.